morning. Purple Jan here. Welcome to my channel, Tales from a Broken Brain. I've been missing in action for a while. I'm sorry about that. We've, uh, well, everybody's had the most terrible time with COVID over the last year, haven't we? But things have been happening here that are not so good, but we're getting through it. I mean, um, as you may have seen from past videos, I lost my little cat Molly just over a year ago in January. And then my beloved chocolate Labrador Darcy Button died around about summer solstice last year, which was left the whole household reeling. All the people were grieving for her and the, and the other dogs were very, very badly affected as well. So that sort of threw Spanner in the works of everything. And then Neil's health has been declining for the last couple of years. He's got Hashimoto's disease and he'd had a, a better spell, shall we say. I mean, he'll never be cured of it, but it started to go very, very badly downhill last year. And then as we got towards um, the autumn and winter, he just got worse and worse and worse. He'd um, initially, no, I'm trying to think what was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, we've been locked down for a year now, haven't we? Sorry, <laughs> broken brain. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't make out what I'm talking about. He had initially at the beginning of, of all this um, COVID stuff been furloughed, so he'd been home for a while. And then he'd gone back to work. But even through all that, his health was still declining. And it got to the stage then when he had some extended sick leave, which just, he just continued to go downhill and eventually had to leave his job because he just couldn't cope anymore. So. He's now at home with me full time. And I've got um, my son Tony is working from home now, still. And it, it just disrupts everything. You can't, I'm a, a, I need a routine. If I don't have a routine, I can't seem to function. And I go to do one thing and, you know, if I want, I, I've now just started to get up at six o'clock in the morning just so I can get a shower. Because if they get in the shower first, then somehow my day doesn't start till 11 or 12 o'clock, which is ridiculous because they're obviously not in there that long, but it just throws everything out. And, and then I come downstairs and somebody else has been doing things that I normally do. It just, com it scrambles my brain and I can't cope. If I do anything at all, I've got to do what I do in my own routine. And, and so now I've started getting up at six o'clock in the morning and then I've got a little bit of time early to get some filming done hopefully or if not actually do filming like this with the talking head I can then at least upload something that I filmed um, before I've, I've actually um, got a couple of films that I've been finding that I filmed months ago and just never got around to uploading so this is all stuff that needs doing so I thought I really need to pull my finger out and get on with doing putting things on the channel again and also, I've got two things happening in the near future that I'd kind of like to bring you along for the journey on. I think, I think it could be a bit of fun. Um, Neil now is not working, um, has no income, which is a, a complete nightmare. And we've got a house full of year, decades worth of stuff that just kind of accumulates. And I'm not very good at getting rid of things. I'm, and Neil's a bit of a hoarder too and, and so we, we tend to, and my biggest weakness is buying more than one electronics like I've got I've got my iMac and I've got two laptops and um, a notebook and an iPad and I keep getting lots of the same sort of thing and I don't need all this stuff um, you know, like printers, I've, I've got rid of one of my printers now, but I just get another one because I think, oh, I haven't got a white one. And it's not because it does anything special. It's just a different colour. I don't need it. So we, we've decided to start going through loft and um, cupboards and garage and, and just get rid of some of the things that we don't need. And then I started looking online and found there's a whole community of people out there of resellers, people that are just selling stuff on eBay. And who knows? 
know they're making a good living out of it so it's it's an option that could be open to to Neil and I because we've both got serious health issues but if we do something like this we could work it around our own health on that particular day and if it works it works we could certainly do with clearing some space bringing some more money in and you know we've always loved car boot sales we we love all that sort of thing so yeah so that's quite an exciting thing that we could do well to anybody who's interested in reselling on ebay <laughs> and I, I appreciate not everybody will be but it's an adventure that we'd like to take you along with us and then also something that <coughs> early you get kids walking past the house going to school and the dogs are barking at the kids outside screaming so sorry about that so three well only two dogs barking bear but it's bad enough yeah reckless doesn't normally bark at things like the other two do but it's their job to, to guard the house and everything in it so they bark a lot yeah so the the extra thing that you're going to find it very hard to resist is in four or five weeks time we've got a new tail joining the house now i'm not going to tell you what the tail is on you're going to have to guess that for yourself put a comment below what what do you think it is do you think it's a cat or a dog or a bunny rabbit or i don't know <laughs> what do you think we're going to get to add to our to our fur family and and what color and boy or girl I'm going to keep all that a secret, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to doing quite a lot of filming when that happens and introducing the new member to, to the fur family we've all, we've got left. I was going to say the fur family we've already got, the ones that we've got left, you know. Out of six tails, we're down to three at the moment. So it's going to go back up to four, which is a better number, I think. Yeah, so we're going to look forward to doing that. So, yeah, do drop a comment below to, to say what you think it is. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So hopefully I'm going to be putting some more films on a lot more often. Um, I've got one that I filmed the other day that if anybody likes dirty videos, this is one for you. I cleaned the filter on the Hoover and it is revolting. So if, if you like dirt porn then that's the one you want to be looking at um yeah because i've it's this is another thing you know hoovers I've, I've just got this collection of hoovers that you can own you don't need them all i started off with um i had an old-fashioned upright dyson and there was just the one but it was too heavy for me as i got more and more disabled i was less and less able especially to carry it up and down the stairs um, although I use a stair lift trying to sit on the stair lift with a, a huge upright hoover balanced on your lap it, it's, it's, it wasn't working for me so then um, after I had the, the massive stroke I bought a Dyson cylinder because I thought that would be easier for doing the stairs and dragging around the house after me but it's one of these things you either have a you either like a cylinder or you like an upright and I don't like the uh, the cylinder at all so that was also too big and too heavy for me then I, f I found a third Dyson which is a lightweight a smaller lightweight one which was fantastic it it's easy to carry so I could carry it up and down stairs and it would work really nicely for me but it wasn't as efficient it just didn't pick up as much so so I've now got three hoovers that are no not suitable for me so then I went back to what I'd always had before the Dyson's an upright hoover and I have to say given a choice between a hoover and a Dyson I think I'd go for a hoover any time so I've got the the hoover hurricane um, which I really love but somebody and I'm mentioning no names here somebody hoovered over the power cable and churned it all up so then it was exposed wires and dangerous so I got another power cable which Neil fitted for me but that was for a Henry Hoover and it it's just 
it twists it tangles it's it's too long and it's, it's just a complete nightmare plus the the bit on it that you wind the cable around is broken and I couldn't get a spare one of those so that one really kind of needs replacing you know it's been used to bits and it wouldn't be a bad thing if, if it was replaced but because the the European Union brought in the law about the power of the electronic power of hoovers I don't know how to say that but it's I don't know if the new ones have got as good suction as the old ones had so I don't want to replace the old one with one that isn't as good because I want to sell all three Dysons they they all need to go they'll be going on eBay at some point so I need to do some research and find out about the um, the newer model hoovers plus on top of that I've also got a handheld shark that is brilliant just for going around and doing a, a if you find a dust bunny or something you just zop it up and that's that done and I've also got two no that was a shark wasn't it then I've got two Bosch um, cordless hoovers I, I got one or vacuum cleaner 